The diverse coral and seagrasses of Ningaloo support an abundance of sea life. Not just fish, but iconic species such as whale sharks, turtles and dugongs. But that could all be under threat. Certainly in the next couple of weeks, we're looking at temperatures of maybe one to two degrees above normal for this time of year through the Ningaloo region. Heat stress maps show the risk of coral bleaching is at its highest alert level for the next eight weeks, which coincides with the start of coral spawning, the one time of the year when corals reproduce. We have to take really seriously these projections which are showing overheated water from the Pilbara moving south down the Western Australian coastline over the next weeks. At the moment we expect to see some bleaching at Ningaloo, but the extent is, is uncertain. The last major bleaching event at Ningaloo was almost a decade ago following a marine heat wave. The reef system has been recovering ever since. Sarah Ellis has a charter business taking people swimming with whale sharks over the reef. It is such a healthy, intact, beautiful reef system. State authorities predict with increasing ocean temperatures, by 2041 there will be significant bleaching twice a decade at Ningaloo. By 2049, it'll be every year. The problem is it takes the reef around 10 years to recover from bleaching. So you look at what's happened on the Great Barrier Reef and um, we're so lucky at Ningaloo Reef that it hasn't had any of, any of the impacts of that nature yet. So I think we can see what's happened over there. We've got time to do something about it. Dr Gilmore says reducing carbon emissions, which are causing ocean warming, is essential. He and other researchers are also trying to understand why some parts of the reef survive better after bleaching and why some coral adapts better to heat stress. If we can understand that natural adaptation, which usually happens over thousands of years, but we need to implement over decades, then we may be able to aid the process of adaptation. Conservationists also want less development in the area. To relieve the stress, the local stresses of these incredibly fragile and important ecosystems that are facing such a challenging future. Expect more eyes than usual on the reef in coming weeks. Nick Perpich, ABC News.